Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss about IRC, that is Indian Roads Congress. So, what is IRC? A semi-official technical body was formed in 1934. It is called as IRC. We have the IRC headquarters at New Delhi. Coming to the functions of IRC. to prepare and recommend standard specifications for roads and bridges that is they have to mention what all the standards to be maintained for roads and bridges that are recommended okay they will be uh, performing various tests and um, conducting some research and based on which they will be giving us some standard specifications that we need to uh, follow for roads and bridges design so to publish journals and quotes from time to time for different standards so here they are also bounded to produce journals and quotes from time to time that is with developments that are included they have to publish these journals to carry out technical activities through committees and sub committees they should also involve some technical bodies for the smooth mo movement of traffic or any other traffic rules to be maintained or any to be changed to adopt the specifications is obligatory for all concerned okay we have to adopt the specifications if we are concerned to that next they have developed some road plans for development of roads so depending upon those plans we are dividing that we have first 20 years plan see that is first 20 years road development plan we also call it as nagpur plan as that has been taken place in nagpur and that 20 years from 1943 to 1963 remember it was formed on 1934 but the first 20 years road plan was on in 1943 Okay, it is from forty-three to sixty-three. The conference of chief engineers of all the states and provinces was convened in nineteen forty-three by government of India at Nagpur. So, in this only, they have mentioned in traffic signal green color comes after imba. And because of this conference, whatever the outcome we got is for the first twenty-year road development plan. Which was from nineteen forty three to nineteen sixty three was finalized. All roads are classified into five categories based on location and function. They are national highways, state highways, major district roads, minor district roads, or other roads. Okay, and we also have village road, village or rural roads. The total target road length aimed at the end of this plan period was sixteen kilometers. per 100 square meter area that is per every kilometer square area they are planning to construct 16 kilometers of road okay and we will discuss about the classification of roads based on irc in the next video and don't forget to watch that video as that is very important it is very frequently asked in most of the exams now going to the second 20 years road development plan yeah but before that let me first highlight you the first 20 year road development plan importance like the main questions that are to be asked remember this year 1943 to 1963 and it is also called as nagpur plan nagpur plan okay and in this plan only they have decided to classify the roads okay depending upon the location and also the function these are the five classifications or the types of roads okay going to the second one this second year 20 uh, this way, uh, second 20 year road development plan is from 1961 to 1981 okay this has been taken place in bombay so this is bombay plan the first one is nagpur plan second is bombay plan this was initiated by irc see they have decided to complete 
all the 16 kilometers per 100 square meters okay they have decided that but they have also completed that aim before two years that is I told you that is from 1943 to 1963 but they have completed it two years before so they have completed it in 1961 only but remember we have to tell that is a 1963 only okay this is a 20 year old development plan so it is 1943 to 63 but as it was completed two years earlier the second road uh, 20 year road development plan will start two years before to that that is it will start in 1961 okay so 61 to 81 Remember it is Bombay plan. This plan was initiated by IRC and was finalized in 1959. In 1959 itself it was finalized and meeting was held in Bombay by all chief engineers. This was forwarded to central government and in this plan the target was 32 kilometers per every 100 square kilometer area there it was 62 16 so it is 32 that is they have just doubled in the first 20 year road development plan it was 60, 16 and in the second it is 32 they have just doubled ok now they have also got their resources increased and also they have increased their capacity of constructing the roads faster so they have changed it from 16 to 32 so coming to the third 20 year road development plan as it is completing on uh, in 1981 this again started in 1981 only okay so 1981 to 2001 and as it is been it has been taken place in Lucknow it is called Lucknow plan this document was released during the 45th annual session and golden jubilee celebrations of IRC in February 1985 okay in 1985 wherever the golden jubilee celebrations were taking place on the 45th annual session uh, they have introduced this document target is 46 kilometers per every 100 square kilometers of area by the end of 1981 and 82 kilometers per 100 square kilometer area by 2001 see I told you in the first one it is 16, second it is 32, but here at the end of 1981 it is 82 kilometers per 100 square kilometer area. Again at the end of 1981 this is the one, okay. Remember these numbers along with the plan names because that is very frequently asked in most of the exams. And uh, Yes, this is the third 20 year development plan. We will see the classification of roads as per IRC in the next video. And don't forget to watch that video. That is it for this video guys. Please like, share, comment to the channel if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.